Is having 4C hair a competition? No. Let me put on my lipstick for this. <laughs> Hey loves, my name is Latoya Ebony. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I do a ton of natural hair care videos, so feel free to subscribe, look around, do all that. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, so um, I have a question, and I, you're gonna have to excuse me because I'm just going off the dome, mainly because I don't know what to post today, and also these are thoughts that are constantly running through my head, so you are going to be witnessing me playing both sides of the fence, trying to figure this out with you. And I truly want to welcome conversation. I do these videos not to hear myself speak, but to have open and meaningful conversation. And this conversation today is around 4C hair and the comparison. I identify myself as having 4C hair mainly because the majority of my hair is 4C, though I do have varying patterns and texture in my hair, meaning mainly around here and around here and a little bit right here, I've got some 4A texture. I haven't identified any 4B texture, which is kind of like a zigzag or what some people would call like not a defined anything, not a not a coil or curl. Uh, and most of my head is really, 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 really little tiny coils in my hair. So I identify as having 4C hair. The first time I heard the term 4C, I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, working as an understudy at a theater. I was posting videos online about my hair journey, cutting off my hair and discovering my hair and all this. This was in 2010. And around 2011, I got this comment that was like, Oh my God, you have 4C hair. And I was like, I had no idea what 4C was. I had to go on Google and look it up. And I remember having this like pang in my heart. Like, damn, I thought I was gonna have some curls or something. I had been scouring the internet. I was on Keep It Simple Sista. I was looking at people like, uh, I wanna say her name was like Nikki Mae 2003, Kimi Tube. These were my people growing up and I was trying to compare my hair to their hair and I kept like looking up close and like I got a curl, I got a curl, like wetting my hair and being in the mirror being like I feel like my hair looks like hers. So I feel, I, I, people who come to my channel and they want me to hair type them, I will not do it because it's just so subjective and I honestly feel like the spectrum of 4C is varied. Um, I don't think that there's like 4A and then 4C and also I believe that 4B and 4C should be flipped. So I think that the hair chart itself is problematic. Also, I feel like the spectrum of type four is way bigger than like no curl at all. And then like two different coil sizes, diameters, which are not <clears throat> described. The diameter size is not described. Then we have people online that are either confused or misleading and mislabeling their videos as 4C and then you see that their hair is not really 4C. And I've even been questioned. I have a video called my hair isn't 4C sis or something like that. A majority of people are like, yeah, you have 4C, I have the same hair. And the, there's always people who are like, you know, your hair is not 4C, your hair is 4B or maybe 4A, and I'm like, sis, where? And one of the things I've learned on my journey is that my hair is not a static thing. It has actually changed with the length and the weight of my hair. When I wash it, it looks different than when I first started growing it, and I had like no hang time at all. Even when my hair is dry, I don't really have hang time. It's only when I stretch it out and I do stuff like this, like putting product on it. I have a video coming out. This is a wedding hairstyle, by the way. Yes, yes, it's coming. Like people try to come for people who say they have 4C hair and whether they do or not, there's always this sort of comparison that's happening. And I'm like, do you guys see this? Sometimes I feel like this comparison is a way to alienate people out of the group of who, like only type four hair is the real naturals. Type three is like kind of natural. And if you're not type three, then you're not really natural. So it don't even matter. And then there's a comparison between the four C people or people that will even comment on my video saying, you know, you're not really four C. This other YouTuber is really four C or this other famous person is really four C. And a lot of it, 
Mm, it's kind of, it's a little subjective. And I say that because there's not been any kind of, at least that I've seen, you guys correct me. Is there a particular diameter of coil that is considered for C? Like, can we see these receipts? Like if you have any resources, please send them our way. I am willing to learn as well. I've literally measured the diameter of my coils like a scientist in a lab simply to prove the point that 4C type 4 is a spectrum. I've seen people with the majority of their coils tinier than mine. I've also seen people with bigger coils and that are not necessarily 4A. Do you guys feel this competition happening? I also feel the ladies that say that they hate the hair typing chart because it's another way in which to divide and conquer our people. I even sometimes will see people on YouTube calling people out publicly and kind of like publicly shaming people who say they have 4C hair but don't really have 4C hair. And I understand where even that comes from. You see, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Because I understand how disheartening it is to see a hairstyle that you feel like you can achieve only to find out that that person's hair type is not like yours and that no matter what you do, your hair will not look that way. Which is why I am so passionate about finding images and fixing your algorithm <laughs> to reflect the beauty that you want to see, that reflects the beauty that you see in the mirror. Y'all, I even have like a whole thought on our hair being hard to do. Like, oof, oof. Is it time consuming? Yes. Is it hard to do? No. I, one day I'm going to break that down in a video, but I need to, I need to, I'm going to have to write down my thoughts for that because I feel like people are going to come for my neck. Anyway, how do you guys feel about this idea of comparing 4C hair and shaming those who say they have 4C hair and don't have it? How much do you rely on being able to label and identify yourself with this hair chart so that you feel included in a group? I also see the benefit of having the chart. I use it as a way to help people find my material online so that they can get the right materials or the right tutorials and the right products for their hair type and the right care for their hair type. So I see it as a very helpful tool, but not the end all be all. My stance is that even the 4C spectrum has many coil sizes, as I proved for myself. And if you are willing to, you know, whip out your own um, ruler and do the work yourself, you absolutely can. I invite you, I invite you to share those photos with me on Instagram as well. No, I am not going to tell you what your hair type is because in a lot of instances it's irrelevant. If you have type 4 hair, many of the people with type 4 hair can follow the same exact process of moisturization and retaining moisture and even hairstyles and get a very similar if not the same result. So is it even really that necessary? I don't know. Anyway, that's my video for the day. I am loving this hairstyle. I'm kind of hating on this curl like in the middle right here. Like I didn't plan it right, but that's okay. Anyway, if you have thoughts, comment down below. If you're interested in kind of like my talking videos, um, I'm gonna put a video here or a playlist here that is kind of like more of my controversial, like opinionated talk. And then under here, I'm gonna put just some natural hair tutorials for those of you who are finding me for the first time and you know want to know how to do your hair all right i love you and i'll talk to you in the comments bye